This is the universal Skag replacement kit for the Remix XP, Coupe, Deuce Coupe, and VersaBoard. We re recommend replacing any other system you have. It is retrofittable into any model year of any of those boats. Um, this, this kit will enable you to adjust the Skag um, very well, and it's, uh, it just makes everything a lot easier to do. And these are the parts of the Universal Skeg replacement kit. Uh, you'll get a new Skeg, new cable, uh, spring um, to activate the system. We call this bracket here, we call it the chicken wing. Um, then the parts that attach the adjustment barrel to the chicken wing, and then a spare end cap to crimp the end of the cable once you cut it and give it a nice clean finish. The tools you need to um, install the Universal Skeg Kit are a 3 8 uh, wrench, a 9 16 wrench, 2 millimeter Allen key, a Phillips head screwdriver, um, and a wire cutters and a crimp, which could be pliers, and a light's kind of nice. All right, so this is the Skeg system for the Coupe, Deuce Coupe, and VersaBoard. You can see the handle. Um, is on the inside towards the cockpit. It'll be slightly different with the deuce coupe and the versa board, but the idea is the same. You got your handle, there's a bolt passing through this, this space, and then a cavity where the mechanism is. If your system doesn't look like this one, we recommend that you get the universal Skag replacement kit. It'll come with the, this bracket that we call the chicken wing, and an adjustment barrel that has a set screw in it that you can tighten and adjust the tension of the cable. And that's attached by this screw, so you'll get all of this hardware um, to replace the system that you may have right now. The really nice thing about this system is um, it's infinitely adjustable just right here. Um, and if you happen to break your skeg, all you have to do is cut this cable here right behind the crimp, run the cable out of the system, and drop the skeg off, then run the new cable, or this cable, if it happens to still be long enough, back through the system, back through the barrel, and then adjust the height of the skeg and tighten down your set screw. Real sim simple procedure for um, replacing and repair and maintenance of the skeg. The same, one thing we do recommend is maybe taking this off the system um, so that you can access all the parts a little more easily. He's just gonna take that 9 16 and then he can loosen that up. Pull that off. You can see how that's attached. That's one of the older systems. And all he needs to do, he can undo that or he can even just cut the cable too. So you could undo all that. Yep. And he can just cut the cable since we're just gonna replace everything. Got that, and your skeg's gonna be dropped down and you got your whole system in there. Pull the cable out, pull the skeg. There we go, and now we can reroute the new system. All right, so remove the whole system. Now we're just gonna put the cable back through the skeg with the open end first, and then the end with a stop on it will pull up into the skeg. Next comes the spring. Just drop that down over the cable. And you shove the skeg up onto the roll pin. Nice and easy. And then the fun part, trying to get the cable fed into the cable housing. There we go, just feed that up into the cable housing. Not quite there yet. There it comes. There you can see the cable coming out of the end. You can pull up that slack. There we go. Now you're ready to add the rest of the mechanism. Running the screw up on the flat side, putting the round side of the barrel adjustment 
against the chicken wing and the nut is on that side. We'll tighten this down so it's attached well, and then we'll put the, um, the whole system onto the bolt coming from the handle. And then we adjust after yeah. that. And this is uh, using the 3 8 wrench and the Phillips, the short handle Phillips. Um, you can tighten that down into place. Just tighten it down so it's um, just loose enough so that it spins freely. There we go. And then we're going to put the chicken wing onto the handle bolt. Nice. And there you can see cable coming out of the housing into the barrel adjuster. Set screw. Notice it's on the, on the upside. Um, attached to the chicken wing with the round side against the chicken wing and the screw coming from this side, nut on the other side, and then the chicken wing going onto the handle bolt. And now we'll replace the 9 16th nut onto the handle bolt. You can just hold the handle in place, and that'll keep that side still. Nice. And now for the adjustment of the skeg. So now he can get that set screw loose enough so that he can pull the cable and adjust the height of the skeg um, to the position he wants. I'm going to lift it up until it's halfway into that first section and hold tight on that cable. Then you can grab that Allen key, tighten the set screw. Let's get it nice and tight. And we're still good there. Might cycle it once or twice. Nice. Now the tightness of that nut on the handle the tightness of that nut will adjust a little bit of how hard it is to turn the handle, so you might adjust that a little bit one way or the other. And it looks like the skeg held its position so that we can go to cutting and crimping the cable end. Looks like it's going to loosen it up just a little. Feels better. There we go. This one you can leave a little bit longer. Yep. Just make it easier to get that. We do recommend that you leave a little bit of length on the cable just in case you have to replace the skeg in the future. Just a little cap. All right, then we're going to put the cable crimp on the end. Just slide that on. And you can crimp this with pliers or your cable cutters. That just keeps the end from fraying. And you're all set. Just replace your cover. You can kind of fold it down in there. Now if all you needed to do was replace your skeg, you could just cut this as close to this crimp as you can, loosen up your set screw, run the cable out, put the new skeg on, and then run the cable back through and put a new crimp on and adjust, adjust your uh, set screw. That'd be it.